when I was when I worked at the NATO, at the NATO site, like we had like you know indicators, and I mean I never came up hot, but you you know you would you had if you got around, especially when if you went to uh, we're doing security where they uh, had one of the nuclear weapons actually opened. Like the one of the warheads, and the and the, they had it. It was the uh, what was it called? Service and assembly building, or whatever it was. But they, you know, they would, and they would have the the, the warhead in there, and you'd be, you know, well, you will, you, you, have, could, you couldn't go near it, obviously, unless you were. Oh no shit! I was. It was. I mean, it was. I was in the room with it. But suited, no. Yeah, with, with fucking with camo with camouflage on. No, wouldn't. Oh, I thought I meant protect. I meant protective gear. Oh fuck no! My job was to make sure nobody, you know, fucked around. Right. How many could one facility hold? Um. God, I don't know. Like you could keep deep, a my, bunch in one place. That would be. Oh, the true. Yeah, but if anyone Dude. ever penetrated that, that that's, the, that's well, the whole fucking country. This was Germany you're talking about, right? Yeah, but I mean, you take a 155 nuclear house around. You know how big a 155 round is. I mean, it's, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a decent sized round. Right. And that round was so hot that when you fired it through a barrel of a 155 houser, that the barrel was done. You got one shot and it was done. Wow. And we had igloos that looked like the movie Aliens with the pods that the things came out and sucked on your face. Yeah. We had igloos when you open it up that you looked across them and it was, you know. Because the whole thing was that it, the, uh, at that point, our uh, defense for um, for Western Germany was if Russia was to come, they were going to come in a large mechanized uh, attack. And that would set off the heat sensors to the satellites. And we basically, the 42nd Field Artillery would... Uh, Fifth Armor would, uh, or the Fifth Corps uh, Army would r beat them to the full to gap. And then as they came, we would basically dump tactical nuclear weapons on the Russians and, and, and kind of melt them in place. Hmm. What year are we At, talking? Seven? This is 80. Oh, yeah. I don't know. 81, 82, 83, right. somewhere around there. Then after, like shortly after that, because one of the things that they had was they had, uh, it was called a Lance missile, and it was um, on a tracked vehicle. So it was mobile. So it was, it was like, a, you know, it, and it was, it was, I don't know how many feet that was. Maybe it was 20 feet. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know if, it, if that missile was 20 feet. I forget what the range was. I knew all this shit back when I was, you know, 100 well, years I would hope ago. you did, for Christ's sake. You were guarding yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, but I mean, it was, I, I was so good at my job. I, I, I rarely put myself over this strong. But this is when Casper Weinberger was the, the Secretary of Defense. Mm -hmm. And he came to our site, and they could cho choose anyone to take him around and give him a tour of the NATO site, and they chose me. So it was me and Casper and a couple other dignitaries and a couple of guards, but I was the one that explained basically what we, we did at NATO site uh, for. Right. And you only had five moves. You you gave him the knee, the squisher. I got a fucking yeah. I got a fucking medal. I got an accommodation. I got all kind of shit, man. Was, Where do you have it? Huh? Uh, do you, you have it up or anything? Or yeah, my yeah. ass. I don't give a fuck. I know. 
That's a cool thing, though, you know? It, it, so you, you know might want to look at every once in a while. It, was, it wasn't like I got the fucking uh, Purple Heart, Heart or the Congressional Medal of Honor. I mean, it was just, you know, just being a good troop, that's all. Didn't take Very much. 